Wanting to bring a dog into your home? Some small dog breeds are easier to take care of than others, especially for novice doggy parents. Let's check out some amazing small dogs that are easy to care for. Like all other Bichon breeds, including the Maltese, Bichon Frise, Bolognese, and Havanese, the Coton de Tuller is a great companion dog. They're not a highly active dog, but are flexible and that they can adjust their activity level to match yours. If you're a couch potato, more than likely your Coton will be as well. But please do get some exercise for the both of you. Cotons are typically friendly dogs and great for people who don't have a lot of canine experience. The main caveat is like the other Bichon breeds, the Coton does require regular brushing and should see a groomer every three to four weeks. Much like the Coton de Tuller, the Maltese is a people-oriented companion dog. Both were bred to be in the company of people, mostly as lap warmers for the elite. Today, they exist as loving family companions. The Maltese is a playful companion who is also quite easy to train, especially when it comes to tricks. Remember to reward them with treats, praise, and play, and you'll have a companion for life. A nice fact about the Bichon Breeze is that they don't shed or have a doggy smell and tend to be hypoallergenic, making them also easy on your allergies. Many consider the Norfolk Terrier to be a big dog in a small package. This is especially true when it comes to personality. Alert, gregarious, and nimble, they'll make for a loyal companion with the heart of a working terrier. You won't be spending a lot of time with the groomers. The shaggy, unkempt look of the Norfolk is part of its appeal. Your terrier does require some grooming, though. His coat should be brushed once or twice a week with a bristle brush, toenails trimmed regularly, and ears cleaned or checked weekly. Otherwise, it's easy peasy. The Papillon is happy, alert, and friendly, and is rarely shy or aggressive. This is a take charge little companion with a moderate to intense activity level. Luckily, that intensity doesn't require a bunch of room to work off. A case of the zoomies around your apartment will be plenty of exercise. Although your little buddy will love it if you join in with toys and games. They're smart and highly trainable and they're best described as a doer, not a cuddler. Your Papillon will be happiest if you keep it busy. The Papillon's small size make it easy to handle and its coat, while profuse, is easy to care for and doesn't shed excessively. Aha, one of the most featured and not coincidentally searched for dogs on this channel is the Boston Terrier. This dog is popular, and its popularity is in no small part attributed to the easy to care for nature of the dapper Bostonian. With their short coats and minimal shedding, Boston Terriers don't have high grooming demands. They do great with weekly brushing using a fine bristle brush. They also don't require a lot of exercise. In fact, your Boston would prefer not to get a lot of exercise due to the brachycephalic nature of the dog. They overheat if overexercised. Your biggest concern with this sweet little tuxedo companion breed is not overfeeding your four-legged pal. They are prone to overeating and obesity, which can cause a host of health concerns. Don't let your dog get fat. Most people don't know that not only is the Chihuahua one of the longest lived dog breeds, but is also the overall healthiest. Cheese rarely have major health problems. Also, because of the small size and moderate exercise needs, the Chi can get all the exercise he or she needs in the comfort of your living room. In fact, with a doggy bathroom mat, link in the description, and appropriate training, your Chihuahua could happily live its entire existence without ever stepping a foot outside. This can be ideal for those living in crowded cities. Especially with short hair varieties, cheese are easy to groom and require only regular brushing to keep their coat looking fresh. The longer hair varieties just require more brushing. Regular trips to the groomer aren't necessary. A caveat with a Chi 
is that it can be difficult to potty train outdoors, which makes the doggy pad idea a bit more enticing. I'm a big fan of mutts. Take my little poogle jack jug here, Maisie. Her embark DNA test not only showed me that her makeup of five different breeds make her look more like a terrier than a dog that is mostly poodle and beagle, but it also showed me that she carries no markers for genetic illness. Maisie has never been to the vet for an illness other than checkups and vaccines. She is the poster child of mixed breed health. And that's not uncommon with mixed breed dogs. In fact, the mutt you find at your local shelter is much likely to have genetically passed down illness than purebred dogs. Mutts also tend to be more mellow than purebred dogs, just kind of chill with life in general. The nice thing is, you can often spend time with a dog, as much as you like really, before deciding to adopt or you may even be able to foster a dog to see if he or she fits into your lifestyle. How easy is that? So if you're looking for a small companion, your local shelter might be the best place to start. It certainly won't hurt to go look. Speaking of looking, check out these videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Might as well smash that subscribe button for future videos. And as always, catch you next time.